I already started and I forgot to start the video. Well, actually, I started my time lapse. I forgot to start any kind of introduction of one. Wow, that actually sounds terrible when I'm talking with those on. Ow. I just smashed my thumb. Continuing this, I'm going to put the top pieces across today and as much more as I can accomplish. I'll just interrupt the time lapse wherever this actually is. You can see I've already put up another upright here, which I wasn't planning on doing, but realized I kind of needed to because I don't have any pieces long enough to span this gap on the other side. I use all three long pieces as my cross pieces um, this way, whatever. Everything else is short enough that I can, that I have pieces long enough to reach, I'll go across. But I couldn't have spanned this gap, so this had to go in, even though it didn't have a place to go in the bottom frame. I just screwed it on top, and that should be good enough. I'm probably I'm gonna put in diagonal braces anyway. Hopefully today. I don't know. This top part should go in pretty quickly. I just gotta cut six pieces, put them on top six. Is right? Yes. And uh, I had to add these little caps because I didn't think about the difference in height between this. And this, I should have actually cut this one, the thickness of this one, and also should have done that with this one. Well, I'm not sure it actually had the height originally. Uh, no, it did. Yeah, I look at the piece I cut off, it did. But a little fill in will work. And so, time to do the crossbars, which are all different lengths. Even though I measured out stuff down here, nothing is totally straight, actually. I'm using recycled wood, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, time to keep going and Put on these bloody hearing protectors which get so hot if I leave them on the ground because the sun is, yeah, you know. Hmm. Okay, I'm done for today, partly because it's like after one o'clock already and I gotta have lunch, and partly because my impact driver ran out of power. I didn't charge the batteries enough. I've got that. One of the screws is still sticking out, the other one's not even in. But it's totally out of power. So that is gonna be the base of the coop. Lots of space in there, enough space under there for them to rest, some space for the airflow underneath. And in this end, I'm gonna have two layers of, I call them laying boxes, whatever, with flaps that'll open so we can get out the eggs, get out the eggs, whatever. It's pretty strong this way, but it's got a bit of a wobble to it still this way. I don't want it too strong because I think I could rip it right out if I tried. There will be cross bracing going in. I wanted to keep doing this tomorrow morning, but apparently it's going to rain all day, so this is it for this weekend. Unfortunately, my boys didn't come out and help because Kai has a cold and Duncan had to go play with his friends. Understandable. It's looking better, but we're not finished yet. Oh, no, when you're finished yet. I'm actually not sure if I have enough wood now. We shall see. This is probably gonna have terrible sound because it's really windy, but Duncan and I are gonna continue framing today. I don't think we're gonna get it finished, but hopefully we can get a good chunk of it done. Ready, Duncan? Mm -hmm. He's full of enthusiasm and words. <laughs> Say something, Duncan. He's not even saying good or nice. I can't even use those little clips. He is squishing bamboo though. We have just only added this one cross brace and already this thing is way stronger front and back torsionally. It's that has made a huge difference. Haven't even put in any of the diagonals yet, but we're still going to, eh, Duncan? <laughs> Say words, man. Okay. Uh, I like nice and good. Right, Duncan? Nice. Good. Fine. <laughs> Ah! 
Kai, in, Kai insists on battle cries every time he drills one in. Whoa, I almost fell down. Nicely done. Okay, there's the basic bottom of the frame for the chicken coop. You can, yeah, should be strong enough. That should be pretty solid now. This, torsionally, getting really solid. Eh, still a bit of shaking it. What? What I do? It, I don't know. It, it didn't want to go in. It just chewed the heck it out. Chewed it right up. It's fine though. I cannot believe how level that actually came out. I am slightly impressed with myself. <laughs> you guys too. You guys are doing a really good job. Thanks guys. Twelve thirty. I think we should quit and get lunch. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Check out. We got. Finally got that screw in after forever. Got the bottom part in. Got the cross piece in. Got this cross piece in. Got the braces in and this cross piece in. And then this V shape. Kai, try and shake it side to side now. Pretty solid, huh? I'm gonna sit here. What? Yeah, you can sit on there. Probably hurt your butt. It's not exactly a comfy bench. This side still is shakier, but uh, no, that'll be filled in with building soon enough. Chicken house. Uh, I gotta cross brace this all up. Oh, I guess there's still a fair bit of framing left to go, actually. Well, I think we're done for today, actually. Kids got piano and stuff in the afternoon. I haven't had enough sleep, and I'm still tired from my cold. I cut my grass this morning. Ta da! And I want to do some more work on this, but I, I can't absolutely tire myself out before work this afternoon, this evening, so I can't do too much. So I figure I'm going to take some, well, I got a couple scraps and I got a couple fairly thin boards, which you know, I could use other places, but I figure take these thin ones, chop them off, cut the ends to 45 degrees, <clears throat> and stick them in here. As diagonal cross bracing, here we'll go up here. Diagonal cross bracing on the, the upper frame. I'll put it 45 degrees to these beams and then just kind of match up with this. Oh, no, that should work. Yeah, it's at the same angle. So I'm not bothering to set up the time lapse camera though. I'm just gonna do this quick. I'd like to get a lot more done today because we're gonna have rain for days, but do what you can do, right? Okay, cut my cross pieces. I don't know what you call them, diagonal bracing pieces. This one's kind of short, but you know, waste not, want not. And I think, whoa, I'm gonna trip. This one will go in here. It will they'll be screwed in flush-ish here and lined up with the frame there. That's the shortest one. I think this corner will be fine. It's a well-braced corner. Probably be even better braced later. And bad news, I definitely don't have enough screws to do all eight of those. So we'll just go until those run out. That should help some torsional strength. Quick recount, I think I have just enough. Yay. Okay, I got these four done. I got one screw right here, snap off. I'll just hammer that in down flat. And I already, it's a lot more torsionally sturdy. And I just snapped my last two millimeter drill bit. I could try without pilot holes, but I might split the wood. That's what I wanted to buy yesterday at Daiso. I have a three try that I prefer it too because it makes a smaller hole leaves more wood to grab onto since this is making only the hole in the top part of the and it should work out we'll see but I just broke the three mil too I think I got another one of these I'm on the last piece too and there it is stuck forever found a two and a half okay one more to go then lunchtime <laughs> Ah. 
uh, all done. For some reason, I got a wasp hanging out. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diagonal cross braces on the top, which makes this sturdier against twisting. But, um, well, right now it's shaking side to side, not this way though. <laughs> and I finished with about 10 screws to spare, so I had more than I thought, but I still have to go shopping before I can do anything else, really. I can only do 10 screws worth of work. Time to go have lunch. It's like after six o'clock now. I'm getting started now. I have a rare evening when I can do some work, but we've only got until the sun goes away, so I gotta hurry up. Uh, just framing crossbars as much as possible now at one meter high. Well, one meter from the top of the foundation. That's my plan right now. Only got one, two of the cross beams on. <sighs> I wanted to keep going, but I think this is a good sign that I should stop now. Should I stop showing you this now? I gotta clean up still. Uh, I think I actually I pinched my hand and I went through. It went right through. Well, I always say if you don't bleed for a project, you're not trying hard enough. I just think I've tried a little too hard this time. <laughs> it has been two days since I pierced my hand. That's enough healing, isn't it? I'm gonna keep going. The only concession to safety is that I bought some leather gloves that might hopefully prevent such a thing from happening again, or at least would have prevented it the first time. I'm not gonna put my hand in the same kind of position this time. You, of course, you think I wouldn't have done it the second time when I got my finger. Stupidity abounds when you're tired or just not thinking clearly. So, back to this. I'm gonna finish up the cross beam there and here that I wanted to do on Friday. And then some cross bracing and, and well, we'll just get as far as we can get. I got about three hours, I think, four hours. I don't know. We'll see. Do as much work as I can. And just as a little note for anyone thinking of possibly doing a little bit of amateur piercing on your own of any kind, don't use a number two screw bit Phillips or otherwise. It's very blunt, dramatic, and an overall bad idea. Glad I didn't use the broken end. Not sure when that happened. Yeesh, that would have been worse. <laughs> Okay, crossbar there done, crossbar there done, diagonal supports there done, and door not totally done, but but a lot more done than I thought it would be. I hadn't planned on making the door today, but I realized I was running out of wood, so I wanted to get that done at least. I, I'm i not actually totally done because I have to have a middle bar in here. I'll need to put a bar across here. And, well, it hinges, of course, and something to secure it. But yeah, right now it'll just come right out, so 
to inside somewhere here. Let's go inside, just for no real reason. I might put a tarp over this. It's gonna rain for the next like week to 10 days with one day off in the middle, so I don't think I'm gonna get any more done. That's why I wanted to get out here and work, even though I only hurt myself you know, two days ago. I sweat my bandages right off. I think the gloves are a good investment, but they don't have to make you sweat your hands. You don't have to make your hands sweat, whatever. This has provided a lot more stability. There's very little shake left. That's me shaking, that's not the frame. I'm trying to shake the frame and it's just shaking me. I think I will do more cross, more diagonal supports here and there, probably some along the bottom, if I can find more wood. I mean, I could just go buy more wood, but where's the fun in that? It is more fun to recycle the wood and it's cheaper. And I'm trying to do this on the as cheap as possible. So far I've spent whatever it was for the blocks and the cement and the bolts and then another 500 yen for screws. Actually a thousand, but I bought the wrong size, one of them. I don't have a lot of time today and I don't have a lot of wood left either. And it's really windy today, so I've got to speak loud because this is probably going to be terrible audio. I have got these two big boards. This was a post in a house. It's got a very unusual, uneven shape. This is a nice square piece. I don't need any more square pieces. I need more like two by four ish pieces. So today with my limited time, I'm going to cut these in half and maybe cut them to the diagonal braces that I'm going to be using around the bottom of the darn it. Patrick taught me the word yesterday. I still can't remember the base of the frame. He taught me the word. He looked it up. I will look it up before. I, well, I will look it up. I'll, I'll find it out soon. Probably just cutting these in half. That's all I got time for. I'm kind of glad to be by myself for this part. I wouldn't really want the boys to help me with this. It's tricky, a little dangerous, and I'm not very good at it, honestly, but I have yet to cut off any parts of myself while doing it. I did this many times for the old chicken coop because I had a lot of these square pieces and didn't need them so much, or at least thought I didn't, and I needed two by fours more, ish, two by four ish, so I cut them in half. I can never get it quite right. They're both, because the, the saw won't reach all the way through, so I had to cut them both sides and I never got them lined up quite right. My actual thought was to cut the second side, cut the other way through with a chainsaw, but I think that would be a little bit too wide and too rough. So I won't be trying another way except for that thin one I was just using the hand saw. And I did not get the blade straight on my circular saw, so it's a little wonky. Hardly surprising. Yeah, that's pretty much how it looked last time too. Very uneven, but well, it'll work. Not winning any awards for beautiful cuts here, eh, obviously. I'm gonna call this one not great, but not bad better than the ones I've done before. I really wanted to cut them into the 45 degree lengths as the bottom braces, but I don't have time, I'm out of time. I gotta go have lunch and get ready for some other stuff this afternoon, so I was really hoping to get it cut so that I could just put it in, put it on with my boys later, but I guess, well, they can cut it with me later on the, um, what the heck do you call that saw? The name escapes me at the moment, I'll think of it later. It is really windy out and I got about an hour max before it's supposed to start raining, so I'm just gonna cut some diagonals and put them in no time-lapse video I'm not gonna set up I just got to get moving okay I got one two three four five six seven eight diagonal sports cut and put in and it's starting to rain sorry there's no time-lapse sorry my boys aren't here but I want to get to the rain because it's gonna rain real hard for the next day and a half this is the only time I have until Sunday to get anything done and on Sunday who knows it might be just too wet to do anything We're still a little rough so I had to do it for Okay, but I'm happy with what I got in. Nice. It didn't really rain so much today. If I had time now, I could work on it more, but I don't really have time, so instead I just climbed up on here and sat on it for the first time ever. Probably not the last. We have got a typhoon inbound in the next couple days, and I want to get this, well, I can't get it finished. There's no way I can get this finished, but I want to finish the last bits I want to do on the frame, which would be some top, up top diagonal supports. Just about five, places I think the little extra challenge here though is that I mean here it's a 45 degree angle no problem up here 
It's a 45 degree angle one way, and then it's also tilted up. I'm not sure how far exactly this way, so I gotta figure out this angle so I can set my saw to 45 degrees and slightly over and see if I can do that. I've never really done that before in one step, so I gotta try and figure that out. I'm actually only got about 10 minutes right now before I gotta drive one of my kids somewhere and then come back, and I'm on a deadline too against the rain. Oh, I also gotta tighten down the bolts. I figure that's a good thing to do before the typhoon comes. Okay, I just realized I did not turn my time-lapse camera on, which is over there doing nothing. So I didn't plug it into its power source. What you didn't see was me coming out here, putting a ruler against this, putting a piece of uh, wood up against this, straight up and down, or not that spot, because there's a piece of wood in the way right here, drawing a line on it, going inside, getting a projector from one of my kids that I use at school, measuring it to 11 degrees, setting that saw over to 11 degrees with the help of a wrench, because that back thing was so stiff. At first I thought it didn't lean side to side. So setting it over to 11, setting it to 45, giving this a cut and seeing, hmm, did that work? Trying it on this side, realizing, no, no, that's the wrong way, it goes this way, and that way, Yes, it comes in nice and straight. I cut the other end to 45, and I am good to go on that one. All right, so I've got it figured out. I cut whatever kind of piece I want, take twice the length, cut it with this angle in the middle, and you get one to go this way, and one to go that way, and you've got your both sides. I thought I was gonna have to set two different angles or figure it all out. Thankfully, that's not the case. Just one cut in the middle, sets it for both directions, and then you just gotta reset it to be uh, straight up and down 90 and cut the 45s on the ends and I'll be good to go. It'll be pretty quick, which is good. I gotta go drive one of my kids to a, a test, fun, now, and uh, then I'll be coming back to do this very quickly, hopefully very quickly, because it is hot these days. I didn't put any sunscreen yet. You've got a little uh, praying mantis come to visit us. Hello. So I hope I've got you on video. I cannot actually see the screen. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, didn't like me. <laughs> okay, almost forgot. The only thing we have left to do is to tighten down these bolts because the typhoon's coming and I'd really prefer they were tightened down. I don't know where my ratchets have disappeared to, so we're just using a wrench. Can you get it on? It is an 18, isn't it? 18 millimeters. <sighs> it's tight. Is this actually some like Imperial that's very close to 18 or something? <laughs> this is not going easily, is it? Huh. Thank you for all your help, Duncan. We put in all the diagonal supports up by the uh, top of the frame that I wanted to. We got the door, whatever the ah, heck you call that in. The thing that goes above the door. And we tightened down the bolts, so this thing should be fine for the typhoon, the, 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 the coming typhoon, the coming typhoon. It should be fine. You know what, I'm sitting in a very uncomfortable position. My butt hurts. I just on my leg. Oh. That's better. So, uh, uh, it's not so bad. Maybe bending a little bit, but I'm okay. Actually, no, I got, I got a, a, a deck. I don't know. We're okay. My butt fitting with you. Your butt fits right there. Yeah, yeah we got a small butt. <laughs> and now the whole internet is gonna know you have a small butt. Not really, because the whole internet doesn't watch this. Yeah, and since this is still mostly open space, this should really be fine in the typhoon, because it is cross braced just about every way I can cross brace it. Yeah, we're all good, right, Duncan? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Good. I guess this is the end of this video because that's the end of the framing of this, except actually for the um, food and water access door. Whoa, put that in a little bit too far. Pointy bit sticking out right there. I might back that off. Actually, I'll take a hammer and break that off later. Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to break it off. I'm lucky I didn't cut my leg on that uh, as I climbed up. Don't worry. Don't worry. There's no more like that. Or at least there shouldn't be. Ha! How about you? There is one? No, you? Uh, well, we'll smack that with a hammer later, too. This is the end of the framing, except for the food access door, which uh, oh, we'll make that later. <sighs> Not sure if we have the right wood for that. I think we're going to build the house next, but that'll have to wait until after the typhoon. You going to help with that, too, Duncan? That should actually go fairly quickly because it's just putting flat boards on and they're all long enough. So it just wants to put a couple uh, uh, support boards on the bottom, just like under where I am. We just lay boards down and just ch -ch 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 -ch, put them right in and uh, that'd be pretty quick. And the sides and the longest thing will be to make the egg boxes and the access door. If you like seeing a sweat, oh, well, this is the right time. Man, it's hot. Click the thumbs up, consider subscribing, check out the Patreon support links and Etsy for my coloring book and any other link that might happen to be down in the description. Give that a click. And I hope to see you back here and on all the plentiful other channels that we're trying to get going, trying to make work very soon. Say goodbye, Duncan. Bye. Say good, Duncan. Good. Good. <laughs>